Welcome to Flash Tutorial number one, Move Objects Using Action Script 3. Uh, this is a three part or three videos. Uh, they're very short. And when you have finished, this is what you will have created after you finish those three videos. The ball hits this thing, bounces back, back and forth. And I'm opening a new FLA document, making sure Action Script 3 is selected. We want to start by clicking on this layer and call this layer Ball, B-A-L-L. -L. That'll be our object. And what we're going to do is make a ball on that stage for a minute. So over here, there's something called a rectangle tool. If it's already a oval, then you can use it. Otherwise, click on this corner click on this menu and you get your oval tool come over onto the stage hold your shift button down and make a ball now this ball has two components to it it has the outside component if I look at it that's called the stroke it's black I can change it from this point here and here I have the what's called the fill that's the inside so I have blue I want to make it a red ball so I click it see it's all fuzzy and then make it red. I pick up the selection tool, highlight the whole thing, modify it, convert it to a symbol, make sure movie clip is selected, make sure this little square registration square is in the middle, and call it ball, B A L L, shift underscore M C. So I know it's a movie clip. Copy that. Close this panel off. Now you can see it's all selected here. There's a blue knot around it. If not, pick up your selection tool and highlight it. Open up this thing called the Properties panel. And up here, give it that name that we just copied, paste it in. So it has a name, Ball MC. If we tested that, all we'd see is a ball. There it is. Control, Test Movie, Test. And there's the ball sitting there doing nothing. Now we're going to write some code so it can do something. Right here is a padlock. Click there and that locks that layer so I can't harm any, that layer at all. Let's come down here. New layer. Call this AS as in action script. Select that first frame and open the actions code panel right here. If you don't have it here, go up here to window. Click. Click on action. It will open. There it is. Once you got it, it's up like that. Pick it and drag it and put it down here so you have it to use on this menu here, we'll call it. And we're going to write some code for it to move this ball across the stage. So you're going to type in some code here. Type, 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 type. Ball underscore MC. That's that ball movie clip we just made. Period X. That's its X coordinate. Plus equals five semicolon. So that means I want it to move five uh, pixels to the right on the x-axis. But if I just tested it, it would happen and we wouldn't see it. So what we're going to do is go back to the main timeline for a minute. Lock the layers. Select the ball layer. Insert another layer. Call this wall for now. W-A-L-L. -L. Come back over here. Pick up that oval tool there click on the corner I now want the rectangle tool hold your go over here and make a long rectangle and I want to give it a different color inside I want to make it blue so I get it fuzzy come over here make it blue now I'm just going to highlight it and bring it make sure I got all of it bring it over so it's right next to the ball so that when we test this, you'll see it moves, the ball moves. Control, test, movie, test. And the ball moved a mere five pixels. Well, we want it to keep moving over and over again. So that calls for something special. So I'm locking my layers. I'm selecting the actions layer again. See how convenient this is to have it here. Click there. And right now, that only happens once. That's why it's only moving five pixels. So I just click there and put a couple enters and type this code type 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 
It's called an event listener. And what this is going to do is this is going to allow this to happen over and over and over. As a matter of fact, if I go back to the timeline, we're working at 24 frames a second here. So that's going to happen 24 times a second that we move this 5 pixels. So it says, add event listener, small a, capital E, capital L. That will turn blue if it's spelt right. Open bracket, event, E-V-E-N-T, that capital E, period. This is all capital letters. Enter, underscore, frame. It'll turn blue if it's spelt right. Comma, comma's black, and I'm calling this ONT ENT frame. Capital O-N, capital E-N-T, capital F-R-A-M-E, close bracket, semicolon, and this calls up the function. F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N turns purple. Copy this on end frame, paste it in, open bracket, small e, colon, and copy this word event, paste it in, close bracket, and there's an open, what's called an open curly bracket, and inside of that is this, after that is this, as you start typing this, the last curly bracket may come, if not, put it in, so there it is, now right here, it says auto format and see how it straightens it out for you and sometimes it'll find some errors right here you can check for syntax errors and no errors so back to the action code now every 24 frames that's 24 times a second that ball is going to start moving to the left and move to the left there it goes I want to keep this series of tutorials short so I'm going to stop for now there will be two more videos that are going to start where this one leaves off. So make sure you save this FLA if you want to look at those. It will be flash tutorial testing if two objects hit. And the other one will be flash tutorial 3 reversing objects using ActionScript 3. So if you want to do those, make sure you save this tutorial. Hope you learned something from this video and I hope you use what you learned.